Now, my two main phones are iPhone 16 Pro Max for iOS, Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra for Android. I like both phones' subtle photo styles by subtle, I mean no branded filters, no default frames or model watermarks. The original shots just look good. Let's quickly guess some samples, I'll call them Phone 1 and Phone 2 first, the wide angle lens. Wide angle on Phone 1 and Phone 2. Which looks better? Both phones are in default mode. Handheld shooting edited on sRGB screen. No post-processing color grading. Compare focus and flare. Now look at their 5x zoom. Next is video, also shot at 5x zoom. Equivalent to about 120 mm focal length. First impression, phone one or two better. Cast your vote, revealing the answer. Phone one is iPhone 16 Pro Max. Phone 2 is Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, after seeing many samples. Most noticeable is saturation in both photos and videos. S24 Ultra has higher saturation and contrast, it's more appealing. Especially with Samsung's accurate, rich screen, this is just first impression, first impression, no post-processing. I think S24 Ultra shoots better, iPhone video was always unbeatable, but S24 Ultra is very close now. For handheld shooting, surprisingly, both phones have similar stabilization. S24 Ultra isn't far behind. iPhone 16 Pro Max stabilized crop is also similar. We can say for good. Android video, choose S24 Ultra. I definitely pick S24 Ultra. S24 Ultra maintains its color style, higher saturation and contrast, especially in dark areas. S24 Ultra prefers deeper tones. Apple brightens dark areas. This pen light shot shows it clearly. Apple brightened shadows significantly, making the image look flatter, slightly grayish. But for shooting experience, I still prefer Apple a bit more S24. Ultra's preview resolution is low, close ups look a bit blurry. When switching lenses while recording, Apple's footage is smoother in low light video scenes. S24 Ultra boosts sensitivity more keeps shutter speed from dropping too low, but this increases noise. The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a lower shutter speed in the U-shape, so it looks like the frame rate is a bit low. However, switching cameras is very silky. This generation of iPhones has finally joined the S24U with native 4K 120fps, which was released in January. But it's strange that Apple didn't give 8K 30 and the iPhone still hasn't solved the problem of ghosting with bright light lenses. Is it toothpaste for the next generation? As with the daytime style, Apple really likes to pull up the dark details. However, the overall night scene is still caused by Apple's, which is less, but has a smear feeling. The S24U is a little bit more, but doesn't have any weird blooms and colors. I feel that the Pro Series photography improvement for this year's 16 is huge. Diffuser doesn't need to add as much sharpness to improve the resolution. Main camera with 48 million pixels, IMX 903 1.78 aperture, the S24U 200 million pixel main camera sensor is HP 2SX. Let's start by comparing the modes that use fewer of their highest pixels. The S24U has a 200 million pixel photo resolution of 16320x 12240, zooming in, zoom in, and zooming in again. You can clearly see the texture on the waist of the little man six kilometers away. Let's take a look at the 48 megapixel photos in the iPhone. 16 Pro Max ProRes format. This one is in DNG format to go to JPEG. So don't look at the color first, but mainly compare the sharpness. At 200 million and 48 million pixels, the difference is not as big as expected, but it's still a real 200 million pixels, and the details are a little more and sharper. Look back at the settings for everyday shooting. iPhone 16 Pro Max. 2400 Mo S24. Yusha, 12 million images. But the colors of the iPhone are really unpleasant. Put some samples for your reference, the S24. Yu's understanding of this rice field and green color is much better than that of the iPhone. The iPhone's white balance is strange when it comes to a wide light ratio. However, the iPhone's white balance is noticeable in large light ratios. This white balance setting is actually designed to make the iPhone's photos. But at night, I think the white balance of the iPhone looks better. The S24U is 5X. The telephoto of 50 million pixels, but I still hope that the S25U can add 10x to the 23. 
The telephoto of the iPhone 16 Pro Max is the IMX 913. Overall, my evaluation of these two telephoto lenses is that the S24U looks better during the day, but at night the iPhone 16 Pro Max looks better. The last 200 million pixels of the Android flagship released at the beginning of the year. Samsung Galaxy S24U versus the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which has just been released now is not lagging behind and even leading for the most part. The hardware is very strong but I still think it would be nice if the software could be optimized a little more. For example the preview screen could be a little clearer. This comparison is to give you a reference. Then this video is here. If you like it, you can pay attention to it. See you next time.